Great, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here to the final season, uh, final week of regular season play here for the Meta HSE Rocket League 2022 season. Thanks for tuning in here, guys, for your Thursday night of Rocket League action. It's going to be an absolute banger to wrap up the season. And with one Baz and one Gex to bring you all the action here tonight as well, Gex. It's going to, again, as you said, an exciting action of, of Rocket League here, and especially going off of last week, seeing some of these teams return here this week as well. I'm just excited to see how things are going to wrap up yeah a little bit uh, a little bit too exciting for for some uh people as well as uh uh somebody's just had to run off to the bathroom for a second but <laughs> we will be getting underway and uh it's going to be the ripley squad versus the uh wolf pack coming in here sec wolf pack uh as the orange team so Looking at everybody ready to go pretty much at this point. And uh, I'm pretty excited to get into our final week of uh, regular play, get into the get into the finals state here. And uh, yeah, Queensland starting us off today. A lot of Queensland rep here today. And I mean, I think that Queensland has kind of been more of a dominant state from what I've seen, at least anyway, across the meta board, right? I mean, in the league action, we've been seeing on Tuesday, some of those teams were looking real scary. You've been seeing it here in Rocket League as well. I mean, we're talking about the Ripley squad, right? One of the only flawless teams still in competition, 5-0 and oh, coming into the final week here. SC Wolfpack have quite a bout on the climb to, to try and take this Titan down. Yeah, I, it's been a pretty big season for a lot of teams, and uh, we have seen some of these teams just pull ahead. So being able to step up to that mark and uh, and make that difference is is absolutely huge. And uh, you know we, we've had some we had some interesting matches right in, in, our, in our final few weeks. Here. We're going to be seeing it more again in game two. A bit of a spoiler between Glenunga International High and the Small Angry Ducks, which I'm I'm pinning at least Gex is maybe the match of the week. There's a bit of a grudge match happening there from last Ducks. week's action between the Big Angry Ducks against Glenunga. Now it's the Small Angry Ducks, and it'll be interesting to see I think how the Small Angry Ducks have learned from I say their Big Brother team right coming into this one, especially when Glenunga. Again, uh, this week, unfortunately, only have two players instead of their full roster, right? So it'll be interesting if, if they'll be able to beat the angry, small angry ducks this time around when, you know, they, they had a really close match against the big angry ducks, but they did take them to that final round. Well, we are ready to take this down. I, I love talking about the, the big angry ducks, uh, <laughs> but we do have to get this underway. Everybody joining field now, and uh, let's get straight into this because we have some awesome, awesome stuff ready on this end. And like we talked about already, uh, there are quite a lot of uh, reasons to be coming up right now, even end of season. Uh, we are looking at a 2v3 right now. Is that what we had planned? Uh, oh, there, it is. Like, there it is. That's, yeah, that's no. a third. There we go. 3v3 now on the kickoff. So uh, no no fancy 2v2 antics to kick off this week, unfortunately, Gex, like we had last week, right? It's just <laughs> well, not in normal this match. to get go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, again, it's going to be so exciting, like we said, right, with Ripley being five and O here, obviously yeah. already guaranteed into that final stage here. But we are going to see if the Wolfpack can maybe try and upset them a little bit, maybe in terms of seeding, or if they can maybe try and maybe put a tiebreaker to, to get them mm. into a final stage themselves. I and mean, despite uh, Ripley Squad doing so well, we actually haven't seen them on stream. I don't think we've seen them on stream at all. This might be their first appearance. Uh, but uh, yeah, they have been very, very strong. And I guess now we've got the chance to find out why. Exactly right. And that kind of reminds me of a certain intervarsity competition earlier this season where we saw a team there as well, where you don't see them all season, but for some reason, you're seeing these stats <laughs> of just undefeated like, victories against other teams, and you see them show up, and they show up big time. And I'm kind of expecting the same here out of Ripley. But so far, seems to be having a little bit of back and oh. forth. There's a nice shot coming straight out of nowhere by a Radiator Boy. Well, there it is. There's your reason, and it comes off of the back of Radiator Boy. Great pass in by Invor there as well. But, I mean, you can see the tags on these guys. Uh, both Invor and Nate Mixel uh, sporting the Season 5, Season 6 Grand Champion titles. Not sure about Radiator Boy, but he stepped up to the mark and made a goal already. So, participating in the team, that's for sure. Almost going for it back to back there. Lucky save. Coming out from the Wolves there to make sure that, you know, they, they want to hold on for the moment now with 3.30 here on the clock. Plenty of time for them to 
try and set up their first goal, but I mean, I don't, I don't know about you guys. This, this is some refreshing gameplay coming out from both the teams. It's just nice to mm. see some quality 3v3. It is, and uh, yeah, would have been disappointed on a 2v3 for this series because I think Wolfpack has the ability to step up here. Uh, they're, they're not slouching, and uh, they are playing as a team here. Have to be careful in these rotations. There's a double commit out of them. It won't hurt them too badly as they did get that upfield, though, and Savage not quite able to find the touch. Invor will take back control, but only for a moment. There's the pass in field. Nobody to take it. Nate Mix all away. And back in the hands of the blue team once again here in that midfield pitch. But it's, it's kind of cool to see, you know, this aggression coming out here, locking down this side of the pitch. Radiator sends it off the wall, but unfortunately no setup. It looks like a lot of the other team members are a little bit low on boost here. So might have to give up this assault for the moment and uh, maybe regroup here. Although I say that and Radiator Boy, he just does it again. It's, uh, it's... A slow progression through this. I mean, two by midway means the possibility of four, uh, four zero here if uh, the trend continues. But it is very, very consistent progression. I feel like Ripley squad, this might be the reason that they've been coming through with such a consistent win line as well, uh, not having lost a match yet. It can come down to not necessarily being like the strongest, most aggressive team. It can come down to consistency and uh, just an inability to give up any goal, any possession, and uh, and making the, the goals count when they arrive. And, and you've seen that with Radiator twice, right? Those <laughs> angles, those ways he's able to send those goals in. And uh, with, you know, less than two minutes now left here on the clock, that 2-0 advantage, nice and comfortable to maybe secure this first round, winning our best of five set for our first game of the night. It's uh, really up to Wolf now to, uh, to try and, well, first of all, get this possession back right and get the ball out of this side of the pitch here for the moment. But Ripley squad are just seeming a little bit too strong here, at least for our first game. Maybe a little bit more comfortable oh. and confident for that first round start. A little bit of a mistake there from Ripley, and it's going to be Kaijin Ryu coming back to his own backboard resets with that they will have possession what an <laughs> angle by nate mixel showing up at the last moments and that's an awesome goal again rip look at the <laughs> he just rips there. himself through <laughs> the air this is what we're talking about for ripley absolutely insane these goals they are getting in out of nowhere and oh, they're going off of Kaijin's comment. Um, I think they might be psyched out a little bit here. Oh, you're a GC. I didn't even realize <laughs> Kaijin, Kaijin's suddenly a little bit more threatened here. This is actually unbelievable play. Oh, Ready to boy with another one. But that, that, I, I gotta say, I, I think I think that last one from uh, Nate Mixel, just waiting in the air, pinpoint accuracy, cherry picker. That's, yeah. that's the one for me. I think that went straight off the back of the top just to get that one straight in. And of course, uh, uh, Ripley Squad is going to be style point. You have to spin that car as much as possible in the air, right? <laughs> just uh, to get those 360 bonuses. I didn't realize I was playing Pro Skater, but uh, here we are. It's, uh, it is That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Here it comes again, Invor with the challenge. It will be Radiator Boy, and he's going to try and push this past the expected 4-0, and they get it handily, 5-0. It's not It's not super surprising. I mean, you start off the first half a game in a series, you really expect to warm up past that point uh, fairly quickly. Yeah, exactly right here. Yeah. With 45 seconds left, obviously, I think this might be done and dusted for round one here, Gex. Uh, Ripley will be starting off the series nice and strong 1-0, and oh, but... You know, sometimes you have these matches, you know, they come through, they just get a nice save. to something like going to 6 and 0 after that one there. But, you know, sometimes you do have the, these one-off games where it seems like there's a, a, a well, I say it doesn't even seem like, it seems like a bit of a stomp right from yeah. the opposing team. But we've seen some major comebacks here throughout the season and uh, could be expecting that out of the walk back here. And from our responses, you might be thinking, you know, this is very big solo efforts and stuff, but there actually has only been a single goal that was unassisted from Ripley squad as well. And Invor has been pocketing most of uh, those stats with the uh, hat trick of assists. They're getting that playmaker. It means Ripley squad are performing well as a team. Look at that clear out. Sends it to ground and Ripley squad handily take game one. 
we wanted to see why these guys were 5-0, and right? We haven't seen them, as we said earlier, right, all season across the stream. And I think they've definitely showed up, Gex. Uh, I think it's safe to say <laughs> they've uh, they definitely showed up, and they sh definitely showed us why. And, uh, yeah, for the Wolfpack, it's uh, obviously going to have to look for an entire reset here. Just don't worry about that. Game one, it's done and dusted, right? It's just a warm-up game. And uh, let's just get our head back into this one. Yeah, Wolfpack, I mean, I think they, they are a little bit threatened by the GC tags, but <laughs> you gotta you can't really respect your, your opponents too much, and when they are that level of play uh, out of each individual member as well, when they're that quick, when they have those mechanics, you can't enable them by giving them too much base here, so uh, I do expect to see a bit of a step up from the Wolfpack, just shut down the attempts from Ripley squad, make a break in their defensive line because they've just been so consistent. Get rid of it. Get that physical play it's coming in. Just disrupt something. You'll you'll get a chance. Yeah, and these guys, you know, they are third place in the standings for a reason as well, right? They're currently three and two here. We're going to secure their semi-final spot as we are gearing up now for the second match here. Kickoff coming through now between the two teams. Of course, that round advantage up. For Ripley, as we all get the kick of their blind date, no way. Oh. No. I'm well, sorry. Were we shot. casting meta or active gamers? <laughs> I, I, is Gexercise back in action? I, uh, I don't know. Gexercise is happening. <laughs> I don't think there's been enough. That's why the Wolfpack uh, just lost <laughs> that one. They need a little more Gexercise. I, I, can I just say Invor's wheels? I want them. What are they? I've never seen them before. Please, somebody send me some in the mail or something. Uh, they're really awesome. <laughs> let him know you know or, yeah. or just give it to him you know it, yeah. it, it is what it is but uh already the likes of ripley right completely dominant from the get-go oh. there's no okay little smile. okay, little okay. Smile. that's true actually, now it had to be little like it, any any larger wow. and he was actually going to hit that into the defender coming across the front so kaijin was on his way back but maybe not quite a quick enough rotation he wanted to cut that a little closer assuming that they were going to get their hands on that and uh it doesn't benefit them but the fact that they've already taken that 5-0 momentum and have sent it to an extra plus two well before mm -hmm. 30 seconds even in the game is I think it's just showing the power level of this team, right? It's un unmatched, clearly here at the moment. And, you know, we're talking about how Wolfpack might be, you know, uh, I've been caught out a little bit by, by some of the, you know, the, the champion tags coming out from these players. It, it might even just be general skill, unfortunately, here as oh, well, because Ripley are just absolutely in control here. Yeah, you see that even in the small touches coming out. The, the mechanics coming out in every single scenario really shows that these guys are prepared to make a goal out of any moment. Good save there from Kaijin Ryu. And there's still movement from the Wolfpack. They definitely haven't been played out of this game yet. They've got some confidence left, and these challenges have been good. Nate makes a little bit of panic on the line there. He's going to send it to the corner. Chance for Savage Boy, and it is going to get away. And it's good to see as well, finally. I was about to say that they've got control, and they've sent it back to mm. Ripley, but all of that gone in an instant. You could just see, I'm not even talking about the rotations for the Ripley squad Ooh, as well, right? They always mm. have one key member with a ton of boost there ready to go but this might be wolf's opportunity to go for that shot just a little bit too far <laughs> across the goal line though, unfortunately and ripley once again just back in control yeah and control was the word there as soon as that shot came towards a dangerous position i think it was nate mixel there just grabbed the ball ran away oh <laughs> the shot is on target blocked cruelly by Invor at the last moment, but look at the difference in the scoreline here. I, yes, it's similar 2-0 to, to zero at 2 minutes 30, but the amount of pressure that's been on the Wolfpack to make these saves has been way larger, and uh, I think this is actually a bit of a better fight out of the Wolfpack. It's just that if Ripley Squad had been playing like no. this from the first second of uh, game one, you would have even seen a higher score line than this, I think. Yeah, and I, that was just a clear cut example of just pain in a nutshell, I think. The ball was skimming right off the top of Kaijin there, and it just goes, What's that? You, you want to try and block that defender? <laughs> nope, I'm going to skim right on top of you and go in anyway. And it's just, it's those small things as well that can start building up that can 
start affecting how you play the game, right? And how you can attack the game. And hopefully these boys will be able to reset, right? Because, you know, there's still series. They still have at least one life left if they do lose out on this round. But just over two minutes, there's still plenty of time for them to at least bring things back. And of course, first thing they want to try and get is that first goal. Oh. Almost a self set up, luckily blocked out there by kids. Nate Mixel having a bright red car on blue team is tripping me out. I don't like that. <laughs> I've never seen a car so much with so much red on the, on the wrong side. <laughs> um, something, something, imposter, something, something, yeah, something, yeah, something. Yeah. Here it comes back again to the midfield. I mean, I'm going to skip over that because I just I don't I don't want to get onto the sus topic. <laughs> we haven't fallen that far makes down me yet, for Joe's guys. Makes it's, me it's uncomfy. Okay. I don't like it. <laughs> Go back to the exercise. The joke's funny, and we can still use that yeah, one. That, that makes me totally comfortable. <laughs> Oh, the save is there, just barely. Kaijin Ryu did make the right choice there, but it was a little scary for a moment. Look at this, they do have some mechanics wow. coming out. They've got ability to do things with the ball, but they've also got a lot of double commits. Their rotations are somewhat questionable. And when they're upfield, I feel like Wolfpack struggle to use their position on field. If they can get out that physical play and the, and the boost starves to try and create a little more pressure, they can get more shots like that. Yeah, of course, unfortunately, just miss shy of the angle there. Savage will get a big dom, uh, yeah, dom there at the moment. But look at Invo again going to the sky to try and send it with the follow-up by Radiator. Another perfect setup. And we're talking about how Wolf, unfortunately, aren't doing too well on the attack. Look at this clear-cut opposite example coming yeah. out from Ripley. Easy setup for the boys there to make a 4-0. And once again, Invor playing the uh, the role of the uh, assist man on field. He's the playmaker here, uh, not so much the scorer. And he is letting Nate Mixel and Radiator Boy really show up with uh, kind of the the lead in as far as what we're talking about goes. But he has been so instrumental to them throughout the series so far. Invor has been just the thorn in uh, Wolfpack's side to a lot of... Uh, situations. Nate Mixel, oh my goodness, no! no. <laughs> He's playing for the other side. <laughs> they finally got control of what? That was by the way, what a shot off that the sidewall to go that far up, by the way. But, uh, <laughs> that... Okay, you know what? They got one. It's what counts. We uh -huh. finally got a goal score line coming up for the Wolfpack. And, uh, let's see what we can do. Nice kick off there from Wolfpack there as they are going to try and control, at least try and get one more goal before this round is over and done with. But Ripley, too much momentum there to get the ball out from their side of the field. And Invor maybe looking to try and make it one there more it to end the round. We'll finish up five and one for round two. And looking now to wrap up the season, wrap up the whole season of regular play, six and O. Oh untouched throughout yeah. the meta competition speaking of untouched they could sweep this one as well uh and it would be a perfect sweep at that uh mm -hmm. i mean i would say that simply because the one goal that Wolfpack got there was an own goal very intentionally from ripley squad make no mistake this is a perfect sweep if it c mm. continues this way and again we kind of have to keep following back to right can Wolfpack reset can they try and bring something back. We can see they're slowly starting to warm up, right? Mm. They were slowly getting a bit of confidence, especially more towards the second half of that second game as well. But unfortunately, is it too little too late? We have seen some comebacks come through, especially even last week, right? When we had some 2 O's where teams are able to get the run back and bring it to the final round. I mean, we saw it yesterday with Active Gamers Gex, right? So when we had mm. a 2v2 situation. So could be a potential here for Wolfpack to do that. But again... Ripley squad are just looking way too strong, unfortunately, to, to maybe see mm. that come to fruition. I would hate to see this be a complete shutout, though, because Wolfpack, they've got skills behind them. They're just, their communication is severely lacking. It's a, it's a little bit of a lack of maturity out of the players. I think they're just not really being able to communicate and stop the double, uh, uh, the double commits, stuff like that. It's not too bad, and I don't think in a lot of situations it would really bother the team. They still play at a fairly high level, but when you're against Ripley squad, you've got to shut down any of those little errors because they're going to capitalize. 
exactly right. And with the kickoff already oh, happening, please. Wolf Squad finally able to bring one in here. Great counter by Savage. Weaver tries to block it, but just Savage, <laughs> two great follow-ups, able to get that first goal eight seconds. And that is what we want to see from the Wolf Squad. And it came off a miss. <laughs> he shot that well wide of goal, about an inch in front of it, which is impressive. And it came straight off of a defender, which I don't think was oh, intentional no. by the defender either. <laughs> I don't think that was a uh, an intentional own goal by any means. This was, this came off of the Wolfpack, don't get me wrong. This is a genuine goal from Wolfpack. Yeah, we can finally give him that plus one, right? But uh, yeah. unfortunately, they do let another one sneak through there for Ripley straight off the sidewall. Now sort of own set up by Radiator and Nate to make sure it actually gets in. It doesn't just bounce off the corner there. One to one now for our third match. Reminder Ripley on that series point to wrap things up for our first match of the day. And there you go, Kaijin Ryu in, into champ uh, ranks here as well. So they're, they're not slouching too badly on rank or anything, but just getting outclassed by a full team of grand champions here is, is tough. I'll tell you that for free. But coming down the other end, there's still chances they might get taken away. Invor is going to make the play as well. And he gets his second for the series here and goes to the top of the leaderboard for the first time. Nice to see him getting that goal right after all the setups. You know, the playmaking he said earlier that he had got earlier. So good as him go for that second goal pick up now. 4 4 still left here. And as you say, right, Gex, with this the skill difference coming in. And something he even brought up a little bit before, I think, which is a great point, is that communication, right, yeah. coming through. Just off the backboard there. Ready at a boy looking for that shot. But Kaijin will be able to get that save for now. Savage Boy trying to just get back control here. Kaijin's going to be the one to have to try and turn onto this, but Invor with a lot of control of his own gets bumped out of it. Nate Mixel wants the uh, title of goalscorer back. And uh, despite having one, is at the bottom of his own leaderboard there. That's going to be sent downfield. Invor couldn't reach it. Nate Mixel does. See now if maybe Invor won't go for it. No boost though. Will miss the shot. Nice shot there from Kaijin. Potential setup to maybe go for it, but double defense there from Nate and Radiator to get that one oh, look at me. out. Completely unwarranted. Where, and, where is the communication? I'm sorry to interrupt you, but that one there, if you're playing at this level, you have to fix that. 100% agreed with that one there. Too many too many members, right? Going for that ball at oh, the moment. A nice oh, shot coming from Kaijin just. Blocked out of the corner here. Maybe another potential setup, but unfortunately, again, the Wolfpack nowhere oh, to be seen. Yeah, potential what, open goal. Cool. That's what you want to see. Kaijin, he shows up and brings it back to an even scoreline again. This is off a little bit of overconfidence, I think, from Ripley squad there. They weren't expecting quite a uh, quite the uh, touch on that 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 was. And the boom to the other side of the field picks up the free goal. Love to see those cross field oh, no. goals coming <gasps> through, but we are going to see, you know, the likes of Ripley just go like, nope, you want to even it up? Not happening. We need that plus one. We don't care how we do it. And just a nice little spin slide. So slide to get that one in. Uh, missing the uh, cheat up in a, in a 3v3 match can be so crucial, especially when your opponents do have the advantage on uh, mechanics. Generally, they will win these 50 50s over you. Uh, so you've got to have somebody there ready to, to pounce when the uh, when the ball pops out. It's a tough ask, but had to be made there if they wanted to hold an even score. Way. And they will have to make another defense here to keep it only a one goal deficit. They, with the air dribble, just styling and profiling up on that one there. Fuji doesn't get it, but this is nice to look at coming through here. And it just goes to show for how much only one member of Ripley can pressure the side of the Wolfpack here. Maybe another potential setup oh, coming no, through for Ripley. In. Radiator and Nate and Radiator will smack that one in. Gets the plus two up now with a minute 57 left on the clock. Oh, it was the panic. It was dropping off of the backboard way more softly than he was hoping for. Would have been a perfect setup for the, for the Ripley squad as it was. 
and they had to get back on target. Just wasn't able to do that with that second touch. Drops it more securely into Ripley's control, and now they've got to regain on a two-goal deficit. I'm going to try and bring it to overtime if they want to have any chance of staying alive in this series. So maximum pressure. Oh. Unfortunately, still catching up with them. Another nice secured goal there coming out from Ripley off the wall. So how much that easy invoice is able to just hit that mm. one off one of the members of the Wolfpack and get it in. And important for Invor that it was him as well, picking up that hat trick and making sure that you all know at home that he is no slouch in the scoring department either. He's, uh, he's definitely made his impact here in Game 3. Yeah. Good to see that, you know, he's the tall of all trades, right? Can easily set up for the team or can be that goal scorer if need be. And those are those real dangerous players you have to watch out for in these competitions. Finally, Wolfpack were sending it to the side of Ripley, maybe looking for those open goals to try and get one oh. in straight off the top. Nice little bounce in to get their third goal. I'm not sure how he got back at, to this at an angle that didn't send this outward from goal, but... Kizda does the work and gets it there in the long run. A goal per person on the Wolfpack, and all of them earned. This is a much better look for them, and they have been using their positions upfield far better than they were in game one and two. You're right, but they've got to find those two extra goals in less than a minute oh, to stay alive. And unfortunately, too many members, not only a bit low on boost, but trying to chase the ball out. Even the goal's wide open for Radiator once again to send it in and just unfortunately more of the same mistakes. Yeah, and unfortunately, I mean, Ripley squad, I feel like they haven't even showed us their best because the communication from Wolfpack has just been lacking. They, they've There's always been openings, which means that Ripley squad on a lot of their goals just haven't really been challenged to the rate that they wanted to be. And now they're going to take the cheap route and line up in goal. Oh, don't do this, boys. I mean, plus three up, right? Plus two series up. They're more than happy to just have some fun with it at the end of the series here. But Wolfpack, they've got to do everything they can to find 30. Invor gets a huge demo on to Kiz there. Kaijin having to use up as much, all of his momentum, just to try and save it from getting a seventh potential goal coming out from Kaijin Ripley. Just chasing the ball. Yeah, they're just more than happy to just... Mm. Let Wolf just run with it. <laughs> I don't understand what the goal was from Kaijin just there. He had two teammates ready to boom that, to get control, all of them at full boost. He's on zero and just chasing and chasing and cutting and chasing. <laughs> I understand that he had the highest rank on the team, but hero mentality may have just led them to the downfall in game three. They had a shot at at least making this a four game series, Ooh. but Ripley squad, they've just been too much. Their communication was better. Their teamwork was better. Ripley squad showing us exactly why they are undefeated and they will continue to be. Yeah, un unfortunately, just too strong, right? At, at the end of the day, finishing up the whole season, going 6-0, and absolutely insane. But we're going to look towards the MVP of this matchup here, Gex, as well. I'm more than happy to give it to either Invor or Radiator Boy, I think. Oh, so yeah. who do we think? Because they both definitely showed up huge here today. I am leaning one way, and uh, I'll let you guys guess for a second at who it is, because I think the most crucial part of what Ripley Squad did so well there was the control in the midfield, the ability to just come back from any situation and make control for themselves out of any of those in, uh, those situations. And the person largely doing all of that work and coming out over the top of Wolfpack when Wolfpack needed it the most, it was Invor. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we talked about it, right? Like, you can both, he can do your setup, he can score your goals, he can get the big demos, get the big saves, the whole package, right? Coming out for this player here. And of course, I mean, going off of the season record stats, right? Going off of even that game alone, this could be one of these top teams we could be seeing in the national final stage here, Gex. I think mm -hmm. it's safe to say here that maybe a lot of other states might need to start paying attention to a little bit. Absolutely. I think you should definitely have your eyes open because uh, a, a team full of GCs that is actually working together, I, even if you're an SSL, you've got to be a little bit worried because if you can communicate that well, if you can rotate that well, you can take down just about anybody and uh, they proved that just there. I don't think they were even pushed 
But uh, yeah, Torrens University of Australia and Billy Blue College of Design presenting that MVP for us. Invor stepped up and really kind of was the statement for the team. It was everything that we liked about them in one player. And that's going to wrap us up for our first match there with Ripley Squad just showing and just dominating all of Queensland at the end of the season. A big congrats to those boys. And looking forward to see how they'll do in the final stage in a few weeks' time as well. But still plenty of Rock League action heading your way, ladies and gentlemen. Our next matchup will be Glendunga International High taking on Renella College. I want to say part two for this matchup here will be the small angry duck side of Renella College taking on two members of Glenunga. So we'll have to see if Renella College can make it a 2 0 if Glenunga can maybe get a little bit of revenge here against maybe the the, the, the weaker side here of Renella College. We'll have to wait and see after the break. So don't go anywhere, guys. Plenty of awesome meta action just around the corner.